okay in this class we go, we are going to look at ambiguity ambiguity means uh, not clear or having multiple meanings so let's look at some examples words can have different meanings so kd says i am looking for a match and a match can have multiple meaning did you try the matrimonial column david says kd says i need a matchbox to light the fire the fire that that's multiple meaning of a single word and there's a more complicated example of fruit flies like banana in this case there are flies has multiple meaning okay flies fruit flies is one word it means this is an insect that likes but a banana and in the same same structure sentence is there in english time flies like an arrow in this case flies has a different meaning and time is an abstract entity and it flies like an arrow and again arrow is a is a concrete object and time flies is an abstract thing and flies means to move forward so the multiple meanings the what we trying to show out is in this case these two sentences have the same grammatical structure but the meaning is very different let's look at some more things and this is not really ambiguity but uh, different uh, ways of saying things in english alliteration what is alliter repetition rose rose to pluck a rose rose from a rose garden and how many different meanings does the rose have in the sentence and this is again taken from uh, wikipedia list of linguistic example sentences so rose in the first rose probably is a girl rose and the second rose is actually she got up and at her and then the third rose to pluck a rose this must be the flower pluck a rose no this is rose rose that must be the, the, this must be a, a a word modifying the second rose so this that the fourth rose is actually the rose flower and the third rose is actually the color of the rose from a rose roses and the, what is the this mean rose roses mean and the last fifth one means roses again the color and roses is a bunch of roses that she has out here and it's alliteration but the same word is repeated with multiple meanings so again that's a solution rose name of a girl rose stood up to pluck a rose pink color rose flower from a rose pink roses garden and then let's look at some ambig syntactic amb ambiguity farid says i once saw a dog riding my bicycle now what is the problem out there let's look at one more who is riding a bicycle that's a problem farid or the dog and who saw and he saw the dog who was riding a bicycle at that point and then similarly one suppose he says wanted a tutor for a boy about 15 years old who's 15 years old the tutor or the boy okay that's a syntactic ambiguity who was riding a bicycle who's the thing and then we see more examples from wikipedia okay the word of the lord came to zecharia son of bekura berekaya son of ido the prophet now who's the prophet okay there are so many people in the same sentence and then this is a quote by mish hedberg i haven't slept for 10 days because that would be too long so when you say you haven't slept for 10 days does it mean have you slept 10 days continuously or you haven't slept well for 10 days uh, with a breaks in between then what does sakhi say she was a good she was good as cooks go and as cooks go she went so the go has multiple meanings out here in first case uh, as cooks go means as cooks are defined and second one means as go as in went and the third one is by hicks i sleep 8 hours a day and at least 10 at night in this case when he says you sleep 8 hours a day it's does a day 24 hours or it's a daytime and from morning to evening and they are known as crash blossoms on wikipedia para pros dokians there's a lot of them you can just type them into google and find all, all these different ones and let's look at some more examples uh you can try to explain them yourself visiting relatives can be boring who's who's boring you or the relatives or you visiting relatives the priest married my sister 
did the priest get married to, to my sister or the priest officiated the wedding of the sister okay that's not clear the old men and women stayed here who was old the old men and women or the old men and women the old does it apply to women or not and Anu made Bina wash her feet whose feet is this okay think about it and then the next one is a phonologically ambiguity and it only happens when you read it it's not there when you write it he is famous for his feet and when you say it, feet is F E A T or F E E T the cobbler will save our soul soul can have two meanings S O L E as in a shoe soul or S O U L as in the the, the spiritual soul I C C it sounds like C S W E S C A and C they all sound the same and C is deep C is the name of the language also programming language or it is a what the, the water C Sue Sue my socks in this case Sue is the name of a girl the next Sue is the verb for stitching your socks and similarly if you break up the words in the wrong place it can mean take another meaning psychotherapist has a second meaning if you break it in the wrong places and again this is taken from Wikipedia it's called a homograph and so let's look at the different kinds of ambiguity that comes about here heterograph is different spelling and meaning two and two the spelling is different the meaning is different in this case different spelling gases and gases they have different spelling but they mean uh, similar things homonym mean different meaning like a tire and but the same spelling tire can mean two things a car wheel or you're tired fatigue but they are identical and then secondly the identical words and there is a this is a confused because the way you speak it and in this case uh, this green one is basically same spelling different meaning like in tire and tire and same spelling is you can have different pronunciation and meaning like desert and desert and one desert means to uh, leave somebody and second desert means to as a region without rain a dry region and then we have the spelling the way you pronounce it makes a difference the or d it has two different pronunciations and then you have different uh, same word synonym is the same word with different spelling and pronunciation city and a sofa okay so all these are there under wikipedia so let's look at some examples we have two and two they have the same sound different spelling and different meaning so two and two that's a homophone and then we have homograph you have wind and wind uh, they have this different sound same spelling and different meaning wind is in the air blowing around and wind is in winding a thread around a reel synonym is different sound different spelling spelling and same meaning like a couch and a sofa and you can have multiple meanings you have the same sound same spelling and different meaning like lead and a lead lead is a metal or lead it could be leading somebody anyway so you can find lots of these examples in english language and you have to be careful when you see them thanks